Hey, it's Frank DF Coon here, and welcome to my latest video. Hopefully, I actually upload this one since I've been trying to get footage, but I've been too lazy to actually um, get it converted onto my computer. But hopefully, I'm able to um, get this video up. And it's about my desk, pretty much. What's on it? Why? What art supplies I use and such? And yeah, I also use it for my computer currently on YouTube. I'm just going to show the stuff that's not really organized in really any place. That's my tablet when I do digital drawings. Uh, I think it's on the floor somewhere. <laughs> Under here is pretty much art supplies that I don't use anymore or just random boxes. Copy paper if I need it and my old laptop is in that box. It's actually newer than this computer, but it the hard drive fried. So I need to get replaced um replacement. So yeah. As you know, all my games are over there. TV, there's my tripod. I'm doing this entire thing hand based. Because it'll just be easier like that. First, we're starting this drawer. In this drawer and show ya my circle templates for some reason were way over there too easy to get now and that template uh, stencil but I got a triangle edge ruler here and a normal um, drafting ruler traditional pencils, wooden rulers this little starting from cube oh, I should throw it up but I just like it so yeah, that drawer is pretty empty. That drawer is not. <laughs> so let's go here. This is uh, my uh, watercolors. Um, if you know anything about watercolors, there's two kinds. One that comes um, typically in little squares or circles or rectangles that you can just buy like in a tray. And you just put water on there and there you go. And you got tube watercolors, which pretty much watercolor in a tube. You pretty much put them onto a uh, fuck, what do you say? trays. I know they're not just called trays, but yeah. And over here, along with what little actual physical manga I have, is the actual tube watercolors. I try to get them in order. Um, from what my art teacher said, um, my current art teacher, that tube watercolors, like as soon as you put them on the tray, my pants, my pants. For some reason, I got so much of this, I don't even use it. Anyway, once you put it on the tray, they should last me a long while. And as you see on. That tray over there, I don't have all the colors on because I can't hold all the colors. Though, I'm planning just to have white right in the middle. Since on that plate, which is just an old paper plate with already dried up watercolor on it, um, I just use that to mix. Or just get some water down so I can just use it for a little while. And such and yeah. I also still need to find a place for this brown, which I think I'm just gonna put in the middle as well. The middle's pretty big, so I should be able to fit both of them without them touching each other. This cup I was drinking nice tea out of it. Put that over there. And here's this thing. I originally used it to store my games, but since I got too much more art supplies than I used to now. I use it to store my art supplies. Let's have the little box. Oh yeah, lamp. Um, I got it at uh, uh fuck what it was called. But the bone draw holds all my erasers. I use this one the most. Well, these are quite old. In this one, I pretty much keep everything that involves graphite in here, aside from my traditional pencils in here. I got Dixon Ticonderogas, which I just use now for just shading in areas or just shading. I got a few different mechanical pencils. 
this one's a Point Sims Crua. These two are um, point five zebras. This is just a normal Bic point seven mechanical pencil. There's some lead for all of them. This metal one, which I've been using a lot now, which I also imported from Japan, is a Zebra Color Flight point three mechanical pencil. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Up here is where I keep my manga pens. Aside from those. I got a Tachikawa T40 model pen holder. Comes with a cap and I really need to clean my pendants more thoroughly without rubbing alcohol. But yeah, I also have um, mapping pens and such. I already ruined my first G pen so I might try cleaning it again, see if it works better now. But up here I just got miscellaneous pens and a few screwdrivers or wherever something gets loose in my room. Maybe a screw, some sharpeners, which actually I'm going to keep that in here. Yeah, some other stuff like a rag and uh, two other broken sharpeners. Right here I got a little quartz crystal. Love these things. I just keep there when I get bored. Just look at it. This is my ink I use for my G pens. It's a Kui, um, Kui Take. Um, it's waterproof. Oh, it's watercolor. Here's all my watercolor brushes. Uh, some of them come with really long, long little strands that just poke out of it, which I try to pull out. So since it just makes it hard to use. And also in here, I got my uh, Sakura Microns, which I prefer to use for inking at the current moment. I'm getting this little tray. This is just like a clay board that you're supposed to draw and paint on, but it's also used for mounting paper and such. Over here, I just kind of use my stencil. And not perfect circles. I just kind of do it on the side. I'm gonna erase all, like these parts eventually. And whenever this is in the way, I just typically take it off and put it on the side over here. It's the original box for the Kurotake. And now let's get to this drawer. Yes, this drawer. It's essentially my paper drawer. <laughs> um, I got a little reference sheet down there for poses that I found on the internet that I decided to print out. So I don't have to constantly just go on my computer for it. Uh, I bought these with the watercolor and paint brushes. And some I like, might use as actual watercolor paper without actually having watercolor paper. Because I don't particularly like watercolor paper since it's really, really bumpy and toothy and such, so I don't particularly like using it. I bought three of these, 50 sheets each. I only used one of them so far. So I have 149 pages right now. I also got some more ones, but they. Um, but they only held 24 sheets, though they're only a dollar cheaper than the RS one. Thing. Which I typically use for school. Yeah. I got my sketchbook right here. I got three of them. This one's really toothy, and I'm going to just now save for like traditional drawings if I ever feel like it. These two are actual sketching paper, so I can ink on them pretty well. And I'm going to take this one out. You see, I have like duct tape on the side because it was getting worn down and it was somewhat cheaper. I tried using a water on an old ink I had. Well, it's not necessarily old, it's still fairly recent, but. Yeah, you see I kind of went out of line somewhat, but it was my first time watercoloring in 
manga. I have watercolored before in my art class. On like watercolor paper, which is again really toothy. This is not like the final colors for this character, just to try designing. I'm not sure to have or have really dark gray hair or really white, um, whitish gray, but I do want her hair to be gray. So, yeah. I don't want you in there to be seen. This one's fairly newer, and for some reason, the back of at least in terms of how American will read is where the logo is, so I decided to start drawing backwards. More of that character. Yeah. I tested the Kurotake ink on how well it repels watercolor, and I remembered. Oh wait, you have to wait a long while before you start watercoloring over it. I was able to smudge um, that, and you can kind of see it with my finger. So yeah, I was just drawing little symbols. Then I tried watercoloring with pencil, without inking it. Uh, should define the face over here a bit more. Let's look the person look kind of fat. And that's it, all I have of this. Yeah, so those are all my supplies I use for drawing manga. And look out for them in my future drawing videos, and so on and so forth. One thing I will try to do is at least have one um, drawing or sketching video a week or something like that. I want to try to upload a bit more often than that in terms of drawing, but I'll try my best also to do tutorials and such. And yeah. I look very, very, very very pale right now. Shit, what's wrong with the color browns? Oh, and then, for your brief, I look so white right now. No, I'm not that white. Well, anyway. Um, Frank DF Coon, and I hope you like this video, and yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, all that jazz and yeah I'll dislike if you don't like my video and the uh, shaking of the camera well anyway see you guys later and I hope you have a nice year eh, new year bye